that's it. Okay. Um, okay. Thanks, Carmen. Got it. I'm recording. Okay. So we put in a shortening and added a um, teaspoon of vanilla. And now we're going to add powdered sugar. What we're doing now is um, we're making the uh, frosting that's going to accompany our flame flame cake and gum gum fruit cake. So we're mixing it together, making it creamy, and then do we need to use the blender on that or we just do this by mm -hmm. hand? Adding a little bit of water. Um, I got this. Um, this, this, this. Okay. Oh, that looks creamy. We're gonna make these in small batches then, and um, and we're gonna color them. Um, a separate color and then put them in pastry bags and apply them to our cake. Uh, uh, these I got them at the um, dollar store.
make sure you get all that extra stuff off the um, the beaters. red, yellow, and blue to get our colors that we need for this cake. we um, need to pipe it out for that. So prepare your frosting and put them in four separate containers after you've done mixed it. And this is the kind of frosting that you would frost, you know, you'd find on a wedding cake or shower cake. It's going to um, hold its shape better than frosting it with a can frosting. This one looks like it's going to be the purple. So I'm adding a couple drops of blue and red to make the grape color. really good. Yeah. That looks really good. Almost like grape soda. Hold it in the middle a little bit more. That's not bad. Perfect amount of food coloring. Mm -mm. No? Not dark enough. No, not hardly. One half is going to look like a grape, and the other one's going to look like uh, flames. I can't find the glass that I need. For the grape, or which one are we going to use first? Mm, pro we'll probably use that one for 